Pastor Melisizwe Monko held passionate sermons in front of his congregation at God's Work International Ministries. The 32-year-old pastor was revered by many. However, his loyal followers did not know that him and his wife were secretly taking life insurance policies out on them in an attempt to make millions of rands. It was always one of those cases that was clear. Greed. You know, it was all about the money. We obtained the fraudulent telephone recordings made to the insurers by the pastor and his wife, impersonating their victims. I want to take out a, a life insurance. Yes, uh, I want to make a claim for life. But first we look at how they operated their scam, which would sadly lead to the murder of an innocent young woman. Be baptized, be baptized, be baptized. Second. Be baptized, we ask. The pastor operated his God Works International Ministries out of King Williamstown in the Eastern Cape, but he held sermons all along the garden route. One of those areas was Tembeletu, a neighborhood in George where his wife, Siposihle Pamba, originated from. Well, the pastor and his wife hold uh, basically a royalty position. They lived a comfortable life and a very good one. However, opportunities presented themselves to get more money. In July 2018, the pastor and his wife hatched a plan to kill 25-year-old Glompo Kaloe, a popular and loved mother of two from Tembeletu, in order to benefit millions from life insurance companies. She was a, a beautiful woman. Uh, she was really one who was a good friend to her friends and, and even with her boyfriend. I mean, their relationship and, and, and with her mother as a sister, as a daughter, they only had good things to say about her. On July 2nd, the pastor phoned Kaloe from King Williamstown and told her there was a job opportunity for her at George Airport and that he personally would drive her there. Kaloe, who was unemployed at the time, was ecstatic and phoned her mom to tell her the good news. The very next day, on July 3rd, the pastor's wife phoned multiple life insurance companies, posing as the 25-year-old Kaloe. Hello? Hi, morning. Am I speaking with Shlompo? Yes. How can we help you? I want to take out a, a life insurance. Absolutely. And how old are you, Mabia? I'm 25. The thing no. is, um, I was not working for a long time. Okay. So, yeah, now there's something that on my way, I'm going to start working on Monday. So okay. I want to be responsible for my kids. Your I kids have are... two, yes, I have two kids, so, okay. yeah. So God has blessed you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kids are absolute blessing. How, how fast do you guys pay? Very, very quick. We have the highest claims payout and the fastest claims payout. All right. Do you want to start cover immediately or from your next salary date? Huh? Okay, you can. I can get covered immediately. Now that the insurance was secure, the pastor and his cousin Pumlani Kusheka drove from King Williamstown through the night to George, arriving on the morning of the fifth. The scheme was then set into place again. The deceased was contacted. They phoned Kaloy and told her to dress smartly and meet them here at the Tembeletu Bridge, in order for them to pick her up for the interview. Kaloy, dressed in her best black outfit with high heels, kissed her boyfriend goodbye and got into the pastor's car. But she would never make it to George Airport. Her body was found later that same day by a fisherman here at Full Clip Gravel Road, 20 minutes from where she was picked up. She had been stabbed multiple times, robbed and left on the side of the road in plain view. She was just dumped along the road. She was not hidden. She was supposed to be found. She needed to be declared dead. The police needed to get involved as soon as possible to activate the policy. A week later, the pastor, posing as Kaloy's boyfriend, phoned the insurance company to claim the three million rand policy for Kaloy's death. Hello, sir. Yes, how can I help you? Yes, sir. I to make a claim for life for my How did she pass away? She was robbed. Yeah. She was robbed and murdered. And then they stole everything that was robbed to 
I've got the policy number, sir. They've given it to me. This is a life cover for to the value of three million. However, before the money would be paid out, they would be arrested and charged with murder and fraud. The accused of Mr. Monko and Pamban were very greedy. They went for the three million. That also led to their ultimate demise. Investigation into the trio revealed Koloi was not their only target. The pastor and his wife took out multiple life insurance policies on church members, totaling a potential 27 million rand in payouts. More telephonic recordings reveal the pastor's wife posing as multiple other women requesting life insurance. What is your okay. full name, surname and ID number, please? Okay, it's Nelson Bishop Boy. Mm -hmm. So see, that you have five point five million rand accidental death cover with us. Hello. Hi, good day. Am I speaking to Annalisa? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she's speaking to at the life department. How can I help today? Um, I actually wanted um, a life cover. The trio would all be found guilty of killing Hlompo Koloi and of multiple counts of fraud, resulting in life sentences for the pastor and his cousin and 20 years imprisonment for the pastor's wife. It will never bring their daughter back. It will never bring Hlompo Koloi back. Such a beautiful, vibrant young lady that was really murdered for nothing. Two children are growing up without their mother. These pastors and their wives that's using their vocation to manipulate people because that's what they did. And they didn't think twice about it.